Hi, and welcome to another Chronicle Chamber book review. I'm Ankit, and I'll be reviewing today Regal Publishers from India's The Phantom, a pub in English and in full color. So, a little backstory for this that uh, Regal Publishers have been publishing The Phantom in India for a long time now, in, uh, but it has been in Malayali language. It's only been very recently that they've got the rights from King Features to print uh, the stories in, in, in English and in color too. So yeah, let's get to it. First of all, a little bit of uh, size comparisons and these are in standard magazine size of any single issue floppy comics as they call it. And just for comparison's sake, here I have a Fru issue number 1602, one of my very favorite issues. And if you see it, it's just about slightly larger at the edges. That's it. So it's pretty much the same and it's not the inside art is larger or something. It's just, it's got like a big white border. So yeah, so that's about it. And as for the paper stock quality, the covers are of standard art paper. And the inside pages are a little bit, actually quite a bit thicker than the newsprint style paper that Fru has. Yeah, so there. And for those who want to see the spine, it's a standard two staple spine. And I think this book is about 48 pages, issue one, and issue two is 56. And both contain two stories. And so uh, the front cover has art by Indian artist credited as Vincent Moses Raja. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, his art was also featured in the Chronicle Chamber a bushfire fundraiser phantom art book and he's drawn both the covers and both the covers and the back of the book has an ad for the other issue of the book so book issue two has book one's art and issue two has and the details for the publishers here contact details so yeah personally for me uh I'm not a big fan of these style of covers because to me it's not the art as such but it's the inking and the coloring which gets to me like this stock picture of buildings at the back and you know just it's a little vibrant like the inking the shadowing thing is just it's just not my a lot of people like it I prefer something like if you have if you want to go retro I, I like the straight flat color retro style either or the much more modern more gradient textured style of this we'll be coming back this to this book later because it has a lot to do with these two so yeah first of all the contents of these both books the books have the stories of uh, of the sunday stories of uh, of the phantom which is post lee fox so it's basically ones written by if i'm not i don't know i, I don't want to butcher his name it's class remiarthi and uh, Tony DePaul, the ones who took up, whose stories were mainly published after Fox death. And the artist on both of them is one of my favorites, uh, 90s very famous Batman and Bane's co-creator, Batman artist and Bane's co-creator, uh, Graham Nolan. And uh, the stories are The Warmongers, The Briefcase, Terror in Mavitan and The Sinbad Stone. The Warmongers and Briefcase have been written by Claire Semirthi, if I'm not mistaken. Terror in Mavitan was written by Tony DePaul. And The Sinbad Stone is written by Graham Nolan. Yeah, and for those who wondered why I bought this book up, this is the Moonstone Graham Nolan Sundays Volume 1. And it has the exact same con content as these two books put together. So, yeah, The Warmongers, Briefcase, Terror in Mavitan and Sinbad Stone. Now, there's another little thing I would like to point out is a lot of people know that the first volume by Moonstones, the Graham Nolan Sundays, had a lot of uh, issues with the page ordering. There were the first two stories, especially the Warmongers and the Sinbad, and the last one, the Sinbad Stone, had book had pages which were completely out of order and completely ruined the experience. You know, if you want to read it uh, comprehensively. So now, with these two books, you have a comprehensive way to read those uh, Sunday stories so thank you for that Regal now uh, in another thing I would like to point out is for the Sunday stories a lot of us know that 
the design is these these are known as I, I i guess the drop off panels or something yeah because like you if they, they are considered like you cannot uh put new parts of the story here so because of the formatting on a lot of newspapers so your story always had to be from the second tier that is here the first tier cannot have advancements to the story so you will see a lot of things so it's basically at most used as a recap so this uh, uh, creates an issue when you're putting it into some like a normal comic grid of maybe a full you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about eight by eight panel or something like that because then you're going to get a lot of same panels coming in so we're going to just check out how they went about it so here this is the start of the first story and this is the start here so if you notice here the panels have been rearranged i'll get to the print and the colors comparison much later so if you see it the panels have been rearranged so that you know it, it falls in a grid pattern system yeah now there are certain things i would like to point out when it comes to the editing which i think they did a pretty good job because it's not always easy to you know yeah like this here yeah. this is in the briefcase and i'd like to use this as an example if you look here the last panel of this uh, sunday whichever did this was these two panels are used in the very next day in the next sunday sorry to illustrate you know the story and like recap a little bit before you know continuing with the length and you can even see that there's a panel from here that has been reused here this is how they do there's always going to be reuse of certain panels in the drop of tear now having that in a comic is going to really jar from the experience so what they have done at times is they have not used that redundancy and they have tried to ensure that there is a smooth flow if you see it here this panel has not been reused but they have reused this panel because it still kind of furthers the story now if you you cannot remove too many panels if you remove too many panels then you're going to have a strange situation where you lose like the last page of the story will end up having just like maybe one panel or something like that so it's 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 a very it's a and yeah another panel i'd like to pull out this one yeah you can see the last panel here has been reproduced as it is in story and there's a new panel here just to recap the thing this panel is missing here because they felt this is a better flow you can have this this panel and the story flows right into here and straight moves here so that's it so that's a very good job done in my opinion now for the actual contents now there's there's i have some issues with my some some of the pages and that's probably just me or like my issue or something like that there are certain smudges in the colors a little bit if you notice you can see the letters are a little smudged a little double and it's not as consistent and if you compare it to the moonstone obviously it's it's way expensive these books uh, i should have mentioned before these books are about 120 rupees each which is round about 2.21 australian dollars and 1.6 or 1.5 something like that us dollars which is very cheap like which is extremely cheap for a full color phantom of two stories and they don't even have any ads there's no advertisement so you can see that you know so yeah so anyway going into the contents of the full story like the first page inside has a little tribute to story to Lee Fogg and a little bit of prose to kind of you know introduce new readers to the phantom and or how it came about and the last page has a very famous picture Lee Fogg in tribute with Mandrake and phantom at the back this is in issue one 
issue 2 similarly has another of these kind of title pages which kind of again introduces the phantom to new readers and that's it normal from here so one thing i would like to say i'm really happy with these because for someone we are in India, we are big fans of the Phantom, but we haven't had the Phantom in English published to us for years now. The last time there was Euro Kids label, which was by Egmont, which did some of these, but that's been like about le more than a decade, maybe. I'm I'm not sure sure about it, but I think it's been quite a long time. I've never I've not seen uh, Phantom in English published uh, for quite some time. And also, I'm a big, big fan of Graham Nolan. And I really love stories which are post for Kira because I think uh, most of our Indian, you know, we are used to reading the same Sai Barry and Falk issues reprinted again and again and again. And Indrajal had very few Phantom in issues and some from, I think, Gold Key and some maybe from Charlton, but mainly it was still again those Sai Barry and Falk and so I'm really glad that Regal chose to use the post fork years and I hope they continue to do so and I really wish them the best of luck because right now uh, it's a really difficult time for them as a publisher to you know keep this because and it's difficult for us as uh, readers also because of the lockdown and the severe COVID situation and they've printed it now we, we have to buy them direct usually these are always available for us normally through newsstands and all but those stands are closed the bookstalls are closed they're not operating the way they are and and these are not on things like Amazon or something so it's not that simple to right now get them so they are uh, shipping it to you directly once you contact them and you pay them online and it's been a little rough because personally for me like I, I I got them quite late because they have been flooding in Kerala and places where they come from and it's been it's been rough for them and I really hope you know things uh, look up and sales and everything really increase from now on now that these two issues are out the next couple of issues I think will come out in October maybe or something and for fans uh, outside India looking to buy a, a, a piece of this um, the best bet you have probably are having friends who can buy it from you and ship it to you but again international shipping is kind of suspended right now it's really difficult and or you can contact them but I'm not so sure if because I think uh, the Phantom license uh, is limited in terms of the areas. So I'm not sure if they're allowed to sell outside India or something. But you can definitely contact them and see for yourself and see what can be done. The I'm going to put the books back so you can see their details here. They have a WhatsApp number, a Facebook page and an Instagram and an email. And you can get them from the video here so if you want to contact them so yeah that was it thank you so much and i hopefully see you again and get with the next few issues of regal till then happy phantom <laughs>